be small. It's better, you're getting better, huh? Okay. This morning, I am going to put dreads in my hair. These are not real. These are our wool extensions. I have 20 short ones and 20 long ones. The short ones will go in the back and the long ones will go in the front. And this is uh, just to test because I want to make sure that I definitely want dreads before I put them in uh, because dreadlocks are a commitment. I had them about 10 years ago before Paul was born. And then uh, when he was about nine months old, I cut them off. Basically just because the maintenance of it was, was so much. Dreads might seem kind of minimal maintenance wise. You don't have to brush your hair and fix it every day. So there's that, there's the daily fixing your hair that definitely is minimal, but you have to maintain your dreads. It takes time to wash them on a weekly basis. It takes time to make sure that all the flyaways are tucked in and put into the dreads. And it was getting to be too much for me at that time. I just didn't have the time to maintain them. I had put in a lot. I had done them myself. I think I, I don't know how many I had. Um, I had a lot and it was just too much work. So this time I have found someone that professionally does it and they can put them in for me and they can do maintenance. You know, um, I don't know how often it is, probably every other month or so, or you can maintain them yourself. But before I pay her to spend a day working on my hair, I wanted to have these in for a month just to confirm for myself that yes, I'm willing to make this commitment and it's something that I want to do. So these are wool. I bought them off Etsy and I want to confirm for myself. So I have, have the dreads. I have a bunch of little rubber bands and a comb. So let's get to it. So first what I'm gonna do is divide my hair into 40 sections, because that's how many dreads I have. And if you hear it in my voice, I have been sick. I was sick last week. Um, Paul is sick this week. Uh -huh. Even if you hear it in my voice, I'm completely recovered. Oh no, one of them's coming out. Which one is that? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna redo this one. Okay, so what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these particular dreads are called double-ended dreads. So they have two ends to them uh, and we just braid them in. So I'm going to split my hair into two sections and then the dread itself is going to be the third section. So I have the, the section that I'm not going to braid in hanging out there. And gosh, it's been quite a while, let's see. I don't braid my hair as much as I used to. When I was growing up, I had long hair. I could sit on it. Gosh, I should just go visit my sister and have her do this for me. <laughs> It'd be so much faster. I might have to do a couple and then redo them just because I'm, I get in a groove of, of how, how to do them best and snug. Yeah, see that's not, not tight enough at all. I need to improve that. All right, let's try this one. Yeah, don't hold the bead, hold the dread. So you're gonna hold it snug so that I can pull on it. Oh gosh, this is way harder than I remember it. Nope, keep holding, okay, keep holding it. Okay, that one's a lot better. The mirror is necessary for dividing it, but uh, but it's not good to. <laughs> it's 
it's not useful in actually braiding because your your hands are always doing the opposite of what you need them to do. So it's better if you just go by by feel when you're when you're actually braiding. That one I could have braided longer. See, look how long the tails are. Oh, maybe I'll go a little bit further. Okay. Well, there's the start of it, but I'm struggling. It's been a long time since I've done small braids like this, so I think I'm gonna try to convince my sister to come and help me. Okay, this is my sister Lydia who came to save me and my hair fiasco. Hello. Okay, so these are the longer ones and these are the shorter ones. There's 20 of each. Okay. Okay. Do you want the longer in the front? So the longer on top and then the shorter like in the back and on the on the bottom. And I don't you can divide it however you want. This Do is you have a comb? Okay. how I started. Do you want me to sit on the floor? Okay. I put a couple in rubber bands, but you can do it however you want, because I know you got a lot more experience than I do. Okay. It's not bad. No. I just don't. I don't know. I feel like there should be like some right here. But How many did you have left? Three. So like, if we took these, these two, and then, and then like did four instead, divided them. Would that that be? might look better? I just don't like. I don't like how it. Did. Ah, what a relief that Lydia was able to come yesterday and help me out. Uh, it's good to have sisters. <laughs> so the first night is the most uncomfortable, just sleeping. It actually wasn't bad last night. I wrapped, wrapped my dreads up and slept pretty good. So just getting used to the hair, um, just having it in braids and, and, and pulling in different ways. So hair has been one of those things for me that uh, I get frustrated with. I don't like hair in my face. I think it looks nice when it's around my face, but I don't like it touching my face. It really frustrates me, it irritates me. I feel like I'm always looking down and my hair would just f fall in front of me, whether that's on the computer or cooking or working on something, you know, out in the garden. It doesn't matter. It, it was always in my face unless I had it tied back somehow. Um, my hair is more sensitive in that, like I can't just put it up in a ponytail and then take it down a couple hours later because that will often give me a headache. And um, braids or dreads actually like this don't, don't bother me, don't, don't give me headaches from, from the movement of them. So that's one of the reasons that I really like uh, dreadlocks. It's also nice to not have to fix my hair every day. I don't like that. I don't like having to decide like, oh, do I want it up? Do I want it down? Do I want it in braids? Because I don't want it in my face, I have to fix it. Like I can't just have straight hair. So that is the nice thing about the daily maintenance of dreads, but they do require more overall maintenance with um, with washing them on a weekly basis and a just longer time to dry and then tightening them up and um, crocheting them whatever 
whatever method you choose to maintain them. So anyway, this is me with dreads. Hopefully in August I will post more regular videos on minimalism and decluttering. School activities start for us next week with Titus in cross country and then everything gets rolling by the end of August. So, okay, so not August. Hopefully in September I will be more consistent with publishing videos and I hope you are having a great summer.